Taiwan, Taiwan City volunteers prepare relief items for typhoon Haiyan survivors in the Philippines. We meet photographer Mark Welke, who shows his love for Taiwan by capturing images of the wildlife in the country. Welcome to Taiwan Headlines. I'm Helen Miao. Thank you for joining us. We kick up today's programs in the Philippines, where Super Typhoon Haiyan made landfall last weekend and has caused widespread death and destruction in Lake Province. City Foundation has since been on the move to pack instant rice and noodle, as well as environmental blankets in both Hualien and Taipei, as they hope to deliver these relief items to the typhoon survivors as soon as possible. <laughs> Working hand-in-hand hand at their assigned tasks, Jingzhe boat masters and volunteers packed 1,056 boxes of instant rice in the shortest time possible. In a relay of love, city volunteers next delivered these boxes to the train station so it could be sent to Taipei for packaging. Volunteers in the northern district have also mobilized to pack 30,000 environmental blankets to be shipped to Xinzhu, along with the instant rice. All relief items are expected to arrive in the Philippines on November 12th by air. Common centers are set up in both Cebu and Manila especially in Cebu, because it is closest to the disaster area. We have also contacted our brothers and sisters in different branches, who have arranged storage for the relief supplies, as well as our transportation and safety issue when we arrive. Besides City Foundation, charity organizations around the island also began gathering all sorts of daily necessities to send to the Philippines, as everyone hopes to deliver immediate care and love into the hands of the typhoon victims. Here in Taiwan, the assembly of the 160 prefabricated classrooms for Zamboangas at the Philippines is almost complete. City volunteers from the Philippines paid a visit to the Taichung Holy Liaison Office to learn how to assemble these classrooms from their counterparts. However, in light of the recent devastation brought by Typhoon Haiyan, these classrooms will first be sent to the disaster areas as temporary shelters for the affected residents. Listening attentively to a presentation by the Taiwanese counterparts, a group of Tiji volunteers from the Philippines are visiting the Holy Liaison Office. After a thorough walkthrough, Philippines Tiji volunteers now have a better understanding on how to assemble these classrooms once they arrive back home. It's not only done by a factory, it's really done by our brothers and sisters. I'm very touched on how much love and care Currently, the 160 prefabricated classrooms are in its final phase of completion. However, as Typhoon Haiyan recently wrecked havoc in central Philippines, these classrooms, which were initially intended to be shipped to Zamboanga, will be first sent to the disaster areas instead. Right now, there is a catastrophe in the central Philippines, and Mr. Zheng is very compassionate. As it is still raining and many survivors are without shelter, they will most likely get sick, so the master wants us to send these classrooms to the worst hit areas first. This is what a completed prefab classroom looks like, but as the classroom will now be utilized as a temporary shelter, some modifications will be done on the flooring, so to provide a solid foundation for the disaster survivors. <laughs> 